Many countries who initially got rates under control are now bracing for a second outbreak. Is this pattern inevitable for most, if not all, countries that they will have to prepare for a second outbreak? Yeah, this is quite unfortunate, but uh, uh, we have to look at the data and it really coincides with uh, sort of uh, what's called the normalization or the new normal. I think the countries who are doing it correctly, uh, mainly, you know, making sure that everybody continues to wear masks and that the, the tests are, are uh, done properly and social distancing, uh, when they do that, actually, uh, so-called the second wave is, is, seems to be very minor. Uh, whereas the other countries, in particular United States of America, where parts of the country opened uh, without such controls, uh, is seeing uh, is probably a continuation of the first wave that's is showing a, a drastic uh, peaks. All right. So but I would say that it's not, it's not inevitable um, that it can be controlled. It can be controlled. Can you expand on point a little more? And that I'm going to also take the same question to Professor Newman. How can we avoid uh, a second wave? You're saying that there needs to be precautions and practices in place. But even if we look at the case of China in Beijing, we saw another spike in cases, even though we know that the measures taken there were pretty drastic and strict. You should look at this as sort of a, a, a wildfire. Uh, you know, if you will have small fires coming out. And if you're uh, prepared for that, yeah, you will squash it. I mean, in China, they, they did see this, but they took drastic uh, measures immediately and, uh, you know, it didn't really spread. Uh, but if you let the fire go on for a while, then it becomes very difficult to control, as we see in parts of the United States. Uh, so I don't think that we will eliminate the virus anytime soon. So we just have to be uh, prepared to adjust uh, our new lives, uh, which is not going to be the same as it was uh, four or five months ago. Uh, we just have to continue this until we have very, very effective vaccines and treatments. Right. Professor Benjamin Newman, on your note, but just taking this uh, one step further, when we talk about the first wave and